So one of the first outputs of the Modeling Religion Project has been a synthesis of three or four dozen theories, major theories of religion. Everything from social theories of religion to evolutionary origins of religion, experimental cognitive science theories of religion, and social psychology accounts of morality and religion. All of those things, we found a way to put them together and to minimize uh, or adjust where you've got conflicts between the theories and create an overall harmonization of the theories. And that's the secret to our virtual minds. So the agents, the computer agents we use in our simulations have minds that reflect the best work that's been done in the last 150 years on understanding religion. All of that work at the same time together. One way of understanding what we're trying to do with all of the theories of religion that are out there is by analogy with cellular metabolism. Cellular metabolism is driven by large molecules and these molecules are made up of atoms like everything is. The molecules are the things that get work done because of the way they're shaped or because of the energy that they have or because of the way they interconvert to other molecules. So, um, the analogies here are like this. The atoms in the story of the modeling religion project are the tiny theories that express cognitive processes that are never isolated. They never happen without lots of other cognitive processes happening at the same time. For example, the way we impute intentionality to vague aspects of nature. There was a storm, there was a lightning bolt, we thought it was a god, or an ancestor was angry at us or something like that. Now, those things happen, yes, but they happen alongside a hundred other cognitive processes. They're just tiny little elements, atoms. So all of those individual atomic theories get combined to make up a very interesting molecule that can do things. Now, what we're trying to do is to make our models or our simulations do things, be useful in a way that matches the way the actual activity, a ritual or something is useful or powerful inside a religious community. Lots of atoms combine to make a single molecule. Lots of molecules combine to make a human brain. In the Modeling Religion Project, elements of lots of different theories are combined to make a model. And that's how we're thinking of building our virtual religious mind. We call our virtual mind Lucy, or the lucid cybernetic mind. Lucy represents the first attempt at a standard model of religious cognition and will form the basis for the agents in the agent-based modeling platform that we're building. Lucy is made up of elements of smaller standalone models that will be combined very carefully with each combination validated so we know the model is growing in a meaningful and accurate way. Let's review all of the individual models that will combine to form Lucy. The first model is Nahum or the Natural Adaptation to Hazard Undulation Model. This is a model of a theory about how people react to terrifying events. This theory says that when people become aware of their own mortality, they become more likely to believe in supernatural agents and become more likely to practice religious rituals with people in their social group. We know this from lots of experiments and observations, so that's what Nahum models. Agent Zeno simulates intergroup conflict. It builds on academic studies and theories about group identity and sacred values, helping us think about what sort of conflict can arise, even violent conflicts, when two neighboring groups have very different values and ideas about who they are. We call the next model MERV, which stands for Mutually Escalating Religious Violence. MERV, like Nahum, builds on terror management theory acknowledging that people manage their anxiety by engaging in rituals, and also how the practice of religious rituals can affect people's willingness to perform violence toward people outside their social group. And we'll test and validate MERV carefully. The next step after MERV is a new model we call ERICA. ERICA stands for the Embedded Ritually Competent Agent and simulates what's called the ritual competence theory. This is a theory that says that for religious ritual to work, people need a leader, like a shaman or a priest, and there needs to be some religious belief or engagement with a supernatural agent. Erica simulates this theory 
just like Nahum simulates terror management theory. We call the next model that we're going to build CRED, or the Credibility Enhancing Display Model. This is a model that shows how particular behaviors in a social group enhance a person's credibility in the eyes of other members of the group, whereas other actions might decrease that person's credibility or social status. In this model, a person's credibility is tied to their participation with the group's collected beliefs and actions. CRED also models the way in which religious groups change as individual members signal their commitment to the in-group. The next step is building MORT. This model will model the modes of religiosity theory. One of the main ideas here is that types of rituals, whether they are routine like a weekly communion or a very dramatic initiation episode like a circumcision, determines how they are remembered. And the way they are remembered determines how these rituals and doctrines are passed on through generations and can affect larger cultural patterns like group size. As we construct each of these different models, we will have made lots of discoveries, borrowing and enhancing particular elements as we move forward, incorporating those elements together with new questions and methods. That brings us to our culminating model, Lucy, the lucid cybernetic mind. Lucy is the first attempt at the standard model of religious cognition, which will combine several elements of the previous models, as well as adding new features necessary to represent a religious mind. Lucy is an architecture for our computer agents, for our fictitious people inside the computer box. That will be useful for a tremendously wide range of simulation building exercises. Lucy will then be validated from a computer science point of view and connected to concrete data from a religious studies point of view. And that's how you build a virtual religious mind.